was really drawn to Prudencia Heart by the way it plays with form and there's a huge amount of joy in this play as well as it going to a really dark place and that felt really exciting to me and being able to work with something that's kind of not really very naturalistic. It's quite rooted in the world that we know at the beginning but it, it, it kind of takes us on this journey to um, other worlds which I found really exciting. It's a really iconic Scottish play and I saw it when I was still studying directing. It completely changed my idea of what theatre could be because it was entertaining, it was full of heart, um, it, it was interactive and silly and jokey but it was also really emotional and asked these massive questions about who we are and when you have one idea of yourself that gets undone, what, is, what does that mean? How do you go through accepting the more darker parts of yourself? And I kind of thought it was incredible that you could entertain and make me like laugh so hard that I spat out my whiskey, <laughs> <laughs> as well as have this really emotional um, look at this more macabre side of being human. We've combined Scottish talent and Mancunian talent in this version of it, and it was first out about 10 years ago, so I was really excited to bring it up to date and do a really contemporary version that, that speaks to now even more. David's the most incredible writer and he balances that joy and darkness. I think it's by making sure that there's a bit of a reach to the audience with the humour and the jokes. Like there's some very crass jokes in this play, but there's also a literature conference. <laughs> <laughs> and I think that the, the real skill of David in like all his plays, and especially in this one that he's co-made with Wills Wilson, um, is that he puts two truths that shouldn't be together together. And it, it's kind of about how, how, how can hell and heaven be the same thing at once? How can you be in Scotland and England right on that border? How can you be uptight and undone all at the same time? And I think that, that that's how you can have a, a really dark laugh and a really silly moment of uh, sadness. You can, you can do two things that shouldn't be together at the same time. And that's David's skill. Definitely. We've talked a lot about the binary of mm. binary idea of heaven and hell and what that means and how that's explored in the play. And that's something that's really fed into the design. It's like, what does hell look like? You know, that's that's Prudencia's area of study is what does hell look and feel like? And that's something that we that's a challenge we faced in staging this production. And for us, it's been really interesting to say what happens if you don't treat hell as just this about fear, about fire and brimstone about negativity all of those things are in there but what happens when actually like desire and excitement and all of those things are really closely linked to that and so yeah that it feels quite natural that that joy and that darkness are both at polar opposite ends of the spectrum and at the same time right next to each other with a very thin line between them you translate this play in the round by embracing the fact that the audience are immediately part of the experience. Um, uh, it's, it's not a play that shies away from speaking directly to the people that have come to see it. And, and I think that, uh, you know, this space is a bit like the play, this space is the, a challenging thing and also the best thing <laughs> because you have to make sure that it works for everyone is on all sides um, and you have to be conscious of like where the movement is and that who can see which elements for which bit of the story will land um, which is all like a big challenge but the brilliant thing is that everyone is involved in this tale and you can tell the most intimate moment and everyone will see it and you can tell the most epic you know large scale uh, sort of action movie beat and it will still work, it will still feel like this huge, huge story um, that can be told with this completely abstract, hugely imaginative form. Um, and I think in terms of capturing the wildness of it, it's about making sure that you run a rehearsal room that unleashes creativity, um, which is what we did in the design process as well. We mm. had a huge range of references and let our, let our instincts run anywhere they wanted to. Because the play does that, it's kind of a big provocation. There's not very many stage directions. The lines aren't even allocated to characters unless they're Prudencia. Um, so it's up to you. And you know, there's kind of like this brilliant bl blueprint that gets left in the room. And as long as you um, have a kind of space where people can react to things and um, and, you know, we did improvisations with our, our MD, Malin Lewis. Uh, we'd play live violin as we would improvise something to work out what does hell look like. Um, but we'd also play like Charlie XCX and have everyone dressed as giant birds and run around the room, <laughs> um, which is relevant once you see the show. Um, 
and all of those things unleashed lots of ideas that I never would have thought of on my own or Max and I wouldn't have thought of just together mm. on the design. It's each department has been kind of working at their most creative and their most unleashed because the play is a let them do that.